Today at Max Paras Tasty Tunes, I'm going to show you one of my favorite kitchen utensils, the KHE M Cap FX Selector. Let's start cooking. So my first video in over two months. Thank you all for being patient with me. I had to take a little creative break. Also. Elden Ring uh, really uh, sucked the life out of me, if you know what I mean. Let's get back to it. I'm motivated. I, uh, I will keep him coming the next time, I hope so. But today is uh, one of my favorite kitchen utensils, utensils, like I told you before. It is the, the KHE. Audio Electronics Amp Cap FX Selector. You can hook up up to four amps, four cabinets, include all of their FX loops and switch between them simultaneously. You got the, the four switches for the amplifier right here, for the cabinets right here. And right here you can see the knob for the FX loop. It's pretty awesome indeed. So if you run it like in the studio, you can hook up, hook up all the, the amps. And just switch between them as you like. The first uh, one right here is the, the Air Force 2. The second one is the Engel Retro Tube 100. The third one is the only one without an FX loop in this case. That's why you hear some noise right here. Is the Marshall Plexi. And the fourth one is the, the Ford Kali, my own small British invasion, as you like. And the awesome thing is you can, well, the solar guitar in this case, going straight into the pedals right here. The signal chain, three boosters, and the built in FX loop from. The Dead World Audio is uh, the built-in noise gate. It's also in, FX, in the FX loop, just like my Boss RE2 Space Echo for some room. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There are some uh, different uh, models from KHE. There's an 8x4, so eight amplifiers and four cabinets, but uh, no FX loops in this case. There's um, the 4x2, so four amplifiers, two, cabinets without an FX loop, there's also one for only FX loop and only uh, um, amps, for example, eight, eight times. And the great thing is you can like connect all of them together. So if you have 24 heads, a big wall of rigs in a, in a big studio for reamping stuff and whatnot, you can all connect them. It's pretty decent. Let me just show you. Let's play some sound. <laughs> Force, now the angle. The Marshall Plexi. Such a brutal flexi. <laughs> I think not. In this case, all thanks to my Deadweight Audio Dual to the Lux. In the red mode, it's pretty nasty. And that's the, uh, the, the greatest stuff of this. <laughs> yeah. 
in any situation, um, regardless of what you want to record, you can switch between the amps to find your perfect sound, or you can even track some DIs and reamp it with a normal reamping box like this one. Feed the signal back into the booster. You can switch between the pedals to, to see which one fits the best. And also switch between the, the cabinets up to four. And in this case, I only got my two nodes Captor X uh, hooked up with an impulse response from a Mesa Boogie 4x12 with V30 v speakers in it, just like all the other videos I did. So, it's just pretty much fine. <laughs> Still the Ford Incarni. If you want to compare two heads, you can just switch between them. Ford Incarni, Gear Force 2. Ford Incarni. Angle. I have to say I like all four amps. They are somehow different, somehow similar. All of them got the British voicing, that's why I call it my British Invasion. Even when all four amps, or th three of these four amps come from, also, so all four amps come from three different countries. These two are from Germany, USA and England, obviously. <laughs> The awesome same thing with the KHE is you can also include um, like a load box or attenuator to lower the, the wattage or the volume from the power section of all four amps. So you just need one attenuator, hook it up in the back of the KHE and it's connected with all four amps. I will show you some, some pictures for here, 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 here and here and everywhere from the front and the back. You can see it right now maybe. If I find good pictures, maybe not. But as I recommended, check out their website. Pretty awesome stuff from Switzerland. Nearly every big studio has has one of these now. Uh, is it Lars Lammert or um, Jason Frankhauser, Kyle Bull or Ola England, of course. Um, Fluff even got one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I guess that's pretty much it for from my side from talking. I keep continue playing a little bit. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you liked this video. It was the first one in over two months now. I have to get back at work. I have to get back deep, dive back in, if you know what I mean. And if you liked this video, maybe consider subscribing to my channel. That would help a lot. Like, share, and don't forget to stay tasty. Bye.